Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. Will almost a dozen loving couples be torn apart? Sounds like a soap opera, but actually it's this year's match day. Fourth year medical students at Vanderbilt, including 11 married or soon to be married couples, learned where they will spend their residency and whether they'll stay together. Carol Bartu takes us there. Emergency medicine. The University of Chicago. Match day is when the class of 2011 finds out which hospitals have accepted them for their first jobs as resident doctors. At the Mayo Clinic. Yeah. Here, the students announce their future. I'm going into pediatrics at Denver. Yeah. They share this moment with their friends. Emory University in Atlanta. Yeah. There's a healthy dose of fun. And of course, there's family. Chancellor Nick Zebo's visit was a great surprise, Everybody but a unique watching. theme this year stole the day. Uh, we're going to bring our women! A record number of fourth year students, 22 members of this class of just 94, linked their names in the computer match together. And today, they find out where they will begin their practice. That was unintentional, but it, it turned out that way, I guess. So we're, you know, we're happy for them. They found love and they, they got a match. Matching as a couple is difficult. Students must apply to nearly double the number of medical centers to find their perfect match. It is, but there's also a lot of support there. I mean, he's my best friend, and there's no one else I'd rather go through this with than, than with him, so I think it absolutely can be a blessing. Yeah, I would second that as well. With twice the anticipation, there was double the celebration. Two sets of families celebrated at the same time. Vanderbilt! The news was just so good that one couple got a little carried away. And finally, the coveted bowl of dollars given to the students picked last for the longest wait. And appropriately enough, it's going to a couple. Well, we're getting married in a month, so we have something else <laughs> exciting coming yeah. up soon. Marriage, graduation, moving, starting residencies, so starting our life together would be great. I'm going into med feeds at Mass General. <laughs> I'm doing emergency medicine at Brigham and Women's. For ViewCast, I'm Carol Bartu. Follow the latest medical advancements at Vanderbilt on vanderbilt.edu slash research. Vanderbilt admissions acceptance letters are now in the hot hands of the future class of 2015. These students have the distinction of being the strongest academic class ever admitted to Vanderbilt. Here's a look at the class by the numbers. Vanderbilt received almost 25,000 applications, up 14% from last year. Middle SAT scores are between 1440 and 1590 and almost 94% of the students are in the top 10% of their class. Congratulations, class of 2015, and we'll see you in August. With the devastation from the horrific earthquake and tsunami in Japan continuing, people here at Vanderbilt are stepping up to help. Vanderbilt's International Student Scholar Services and the Dean of Students are offering personal assistance to the more than 120 Japanese students, faculty, staff, and scholars here. The Asian American Student Association and other volunteers made traditional origami paper cranes on campus to send to families in Japan. We thought about the paper cranes because um, we saw them when I was in Hiroshima at the nuclear bomb memorial. Uh, there are a lot of paper cranes and things there. Yeah, we're creating a, a 1,000 paper crane um, chain. It's called the Senbazuru. A tsuru or a crane represents long life. Um, and so what we do is we give those to the people who are you know, ill or sick or injured and we show them that we care about them and that we hope for a quick recovery and a long life ahead of them. You can help those in Japan by donating to the Red Cross at redcross.org. Vanderbilt's home, Nashville, Tennessee, dealt with its own natural disaster last May when floodwaters took over the city. Recently, the CEO of Gaylord Entertainment, who owns Opryland, sat down with the dean of the Owen Graduate School of Management. Get out of here. You know, we got to get our people out. And we had the whole hotel evacuated within an hour and a half. By 10, 10.30 that night, we had three feet of water in the Cascades lobby. By midnight, we had six feet of water in the Cascades lobby. 
see the full interview on Vanderbilt.edu, type in Colin Reed. And now something to celebrate. The third time is certainly a charm for the Peabody College of Education and Human Development. Peabody is named the number one graduate school of education by U.S. News and World Report for the third year in a row. Our other graduate schools are high on the list as well, with Vandy schools of medicine, nursing, and law in the top 20. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.